work of a public defender is not typically considered very glamorous. In the first degree, yes. But one transgender attorney in Washington is challenging stereotypes thanks to her eye-popping appearance. Lawyer Stephanie Muller has been open about her background and says it has no bearing on her ability as a public defender. And on Thursday, the septuagenarian attorney raised eyebrows after appearing before a Seattle court in a very revealing outfit. She's accused of, what is it, criminal trespass. In the first degree, yes. She's innocent, of course. She's innocent, okay. Well, she's caught on video being arrested and protesting. And the client has pled not guilty and she's not guilty. How about that? Despite her eye-catching appearance, Mueller says she has been treated with complete respect and great acceptance since her transition in 2012. She explained, Everywhere I go, people are friendly and polite. In the courtroom, the issue has never once arisen, as should be the case. I get good results because I'm a good lawyer. My gender is beside the point. This is very, very fabulous. Charles, what in the hell did we just watch? That looks like Bigfoot with lipstick and a wig. What is going on here, Charles? Whatever happened to court, proper courtroom decorum? You and I both know that a judge should have excused her out of that courtroom and said, thank you for coming to defend your client, but come back dressed appropriately to represent your client in the courtroom. Them big old fake, I mean, gorilla looking breasts, man. So big, look like, like her nipples look like floodlights. That's a disgrace. Not even a woman, a real woman, should dress like that in a courtroom. That's disrespectful to the court, but that wasn't no real woman. That looked like she played linebacker for the Chicago Bears. Did you hear the voice? Did you hear the, don't play, you know what I'm saying to you. Did you hear the voice? Well, my client, what the hell? That ain't no woman, man. I will say, Cornell, that initially, I'll be honest, when I first saw the video, I thought, and this is, some younger people aren't gonna get this, I thought that was Dee Snyder from Twisted Sister. You remember Twisted Sister, yes. we're not gonna take it, you know, big crazy hair with breasts, right? Which were clearly prosthetic breasts. Those, that's the, that doesn't look like a boob job to me. That looks like a cartoon. Yeah, like a cartoon clown, outfit. Right, and then the, the hard nipples of the prosthetics poking through the sweater, I will agree that felt inappropriate, okay? And I also agree that all over this country, courtroom decorum has, has gone to hell. You know, I, I, you see, I'm in court every day. You see guys in tennis shoes, you know, women dressed like, you know, they're going to the club. Uh, people are, men are in jeans. It does seem like we are dialing back etiquette. But you put all that aside and the obviously ridiculous appearance. I support her, her ability, you know, I want her to be able to live her life however she wants to live it. And it did sound like she was stridently advocating for her clients, which is what you want in an attorney. Do I think that would go over well in Texas? Probably not. Seattle? I would imagine in Seattle, they're more apt to look past her Man, appearance. Can you stop being politically correct? How about being politically you correct? You and I both know together that that woman, that man, whatever he is on that day, looks crazy as hell. Real women should be outraged and real professional women who are lawyers should remind this new wannabe woman that this is not proper courtroom decorum. What if a transgender female into a male decided to wear some leather pants in a courtroom with a big dildo print laying at the leg of us for everybody to see because that man rolled those big old like that for everybody to see so should a woman that transitioned to that transitions to a man be allowed to wear a dildo in her pants with tight pants on I, you know that sounds tacky and inappropriate i think it's a little bit different but not much. I'll give you, you know what, I'm not supposed to say you're right on stuff. We're supposed to argue on this show, but I'm going to give you right now. The, the nipples and the tight sweater, that was a bit much. But again, with lawyers, especially criminal defense, you want someone that's going to zealously advocate for your position. And it sounded as if she was, I mean, the deep voice throws me off. Sound like Bigfoot. But sounds as if she was very well versed in the law and the circumstance of her client and I making a great argument. That. Well, that's, she's, I mean, she's probably a great lawyer, but when it comes to courtroom civility and decorum, 
when it comes to self-respect. She seemed in the incredible, incredibly That's civil. That's pathetic. She was very That's well crazy. spoken. Charles, I mean, what real woman wears hot leather pants in April? Okay, so I will say some thick leather. I'm sorry, and had riding boots on. She had riding boots on. She was getting ready to ride well, a horse. I mean, she hell, probably, that looked like the horse to me. She probably riding something, Quanell. Well, but again. I support people's ability to live their lives however they want to live their lives and do what they want to do. And I look at lawyers based on the the efficacy of their advocacy. And it, it seems like, and he, based on her own statements, that she's taken seriously, she's treated respectfully. I do think... And that's a positive thing. I do think the but nipples... But that foolish that she's I wearing? I think the, the fake... I assume they're fake nipples. Those felt disrespectful. Though you don't need to go to court trying to titillate other people or titillate yourself. So and why don't some argue, transgender activists come out and say, hey, look, that's too much. That's going too far. Because well, you have some transgender, some transgender women who transition from women to men or from men to women. Somebody from that community should say, wait a minute, this is over the top, well, that's too much. Most sincerely trans people want to live their lives as the gender they feel they should be, right? They, this is clearly, Stephanie Mueller is clearly not doing that, right? It's a clear caricature of a woman, kind of an obscene caricature of a woman. Exactly. And it's probably driven by narcissism and vanity. But it's okay to be a narcissist. It's okay to be vain. Although I do think that... Not in the courtroom. I, I do think, well, no. Well, the courtrooms are filled. With narcissists, right? But I, I mean, will most give you lawyers credit. are. I will give you credit you know, on this. Present company excluded, because obviously I am a very giving, kind, generous person. But again, when I evaluate a lawyer, especially those fighting, pushing back against the state, right, oppression, it all comes down to, you know, how dedicated they are. So and it's my I've understanding she she works, does lately, indigent work, I've attended fights for court poor hearings. people. I, I, Charles, lately I've attended court hearings. Harris County, Montgomery County, Brazoria County. And you know what shocks me the most of what I see? How some of my own African-American female sister lawyers are dressing. Black professional lawyer women never used to dress the way they dress now in that courthouse, man. And I see them wearing mini skirts to where you would think that they're headed to the nightclub to get involved in a party at the disco. Well, but don't. this is now what women are wearing to court. And some of these men look like they slept in their clothes all night long and bought a pair of sneakers from Payless. You know, I, I don't think it's exclusive or even overrepresented by black women. I think it's it's women generally. I think male lawyers generally. It's really the guys. Well, I don't pay attention white, to the black, white women like that. Uh, so I but really they are. You. I know. Down with Whitey. But no, they not. are, they are, you know, I'm telling you, everyone's dressing too casual. The nipple's a bit much, but as long as Stephanie is fighting for her clients, good for her. Look like Stephen to me.